Hey guys, this is Mr. Robinson, and I wanted to take a couple minutes today and two minutes of math to talk about reflecting shapes across an axis. Okay, and it basically breaks down into about four to five rules. The first thing you need to do is identify all points. Okay, the second thing you need to do is count to the line of reflection. The third thing is count off the line of reflection. And then, of course, make an XY chart to see how, to see how it ended up. So here, we're going point A would be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is that actually negative 7, and it's up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, negative 7, 9. Point B is going to be at negative 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and point C is at negative 3, 5. Okay, so I've identified all my points. Now, I'm going across the y-axis, which is my vertical axis, here. Okay, so I'm going to count to my line of reflection. So I'm going to take point A, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to my line of reflection. Now I need to count 7 off it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there's point A prime. B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to my line of reflection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 off my line of reflection. And C is 1, 2, 3 to my line of reflection. So I need to go with 1, 2, 3 off my line of reflection to get C prime. And that's my new shape. Now, to, do the, to get my line of reflection, I need to remember when I go across the y-axis, my y stays the same and my x gets flipped. So in this case, my y's are going to stay the same, which they do, 5, 5, and 9. And these are going to become the opposites, 7, 9, and 3. So C would be at 3, 5, this is at 9, 5, and this is at 7 over 9 up. And there I just reflected across the y-axis using my four rules, identify the points, count to the line of reflection, count off the line of reflection, and then check everything with an x-y chart. That was your two minutes of math on reflecting across the y-axis.